day folks welcome to mb wildman channel on today's video i want to show you real quick how to actually set and and actually you know put out in the woods uh one of the seneca snare setups that i've been talking about over the last few videos uh listen if you haven't yet subscribed to mb wildman channel we sure would appreciate it uh, it doesn't cost anything it's perfectly free just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, if you want to get notified and we upload any new content just click on that bell and uh, you'll get notified when we upload new videos so just a couple quick things uh, today before i get started I wanted to, to talk just for a second before I get this snare set up about, about responsible snare setting and about responsible trapping. Now, I'm not going to lecture you. I get that. Uh, I know that we all do our own thing. And I do know that these Seneca setups, set up, these Seneca snare setups, holy moly, these Seneca snare setups uh, do cost a little more, but they're, they're better. Okay. They're more, they're, they're a quicker kill. They're more efficient. The kill spring, the swivel, all of that helps to dispatch the animal quickly. Uh, the, the, the less time animal spends struggling, the less chance of a chew out or the less chance of somebody else seeing it or reporting it or whatever. Um, we as trappers, especially here in New Brunswick, where we're pretty, you know, like we're pretty good on the rules and the regs right now, not a lot of restrictions in place. Uh, it's only going to take a couple of weak politicians and a couple of real loud mouth pet owners uh, and we may lose snaring, we may lose certain aspects of trapping. Uh, we, we can see how this is going. You know, we're, we're in a minority group, those of us that, that still hunt and trap and fish, um, and it doesn't seem like the politicians really give us a whole lot of consideration when it comes to making laws or when it comes time to, to appease the general masses, right? You can see that with gun registration and all that, so... Anyway, I just wanted to put it out there to you that I know these snares are a little bit more expensive to do, but they are a better snare, and the the less the the, uh, the less controversy that we can you know create, uh, then the better it all, the better off we all all are. So anyway, enough of that kind of talk. Uh, let's get going here. So we're gonna set one of these up, and I've got my extension wire. Okay, in my little pack here. This is my five foot extension cable. I bring one of these. Okay, and then you're just gonna pick something good and solid and gonna wrap it around okay so remember that these extension cables just have a loop on each end right loop and a loop all right so I'm just gonna wrap it around something good and solid and I'm gonna pull that through okay now these snares you'll see these are uh, these are pretty silvery color I didn't uh, I didn't get these ones dyed just yet I just wanted to put one out for you right here at a little pinch point uh, to show you as a demonstration today so uh, the height of this on the tree doesn't really matter um, if you were only going to tangle and you didn't have the whole Seneca set up with the kill spring and all that stuff, I'd tell you to put it up high on the tree so that the coyote could wrap itself around. But it's not necessary, really. It's just whatever, whatever floats your boat here. Uh, keep it down so, you know, whatever. And then you've got your extension cable here. Okay, so that's the first step. Next, you're going to grab yourself one of your snares that you've made. Okay, so these are the snares that I've made. Uh, and if you haven't checked out the video on how to make these, there's a couple on the channel, one last week and one the week before, I think. Uh, one with the trigger, one without, okay? And you're just gonna make this snare look like a snare, like this. All right, so that's pretty simple and easy. That's one of the, that's one of the setups, all right? Uh, what you do now is you take the off end of your extension cable and you take your snare and you run your extension cable through your snare. Okay, so here extension cable through the snare. Okay, then you take the, the trigger end of your snare and you run it through the extension cable. All your gear, okay, that comes all through there. And when you pull this thing tight, careful not to pinch the, uh, the support collar, but when you pull this thing tight together, what you end up with is both of these loops that you can't, these, these, these sort of gel together like this. Okay, now that's not coming out of there, right? So that's good and solid. And now you've got your snare attached to the extension cable, okay? Now you can bury up your extra cable, you know, camouflage it up however you want, nestle it down on the ground, put some sticks over it, whatever. That's, uh, that's really not rocket science, okay? Now you wanna take the end of your snare and you wanna make it look like a snare. So you pull this through, same way that we did before. And now you have one of your brand new snares all set up just like such, okay, on the end of your extension cable. Okay, so now what? It's flimsy, it's floppy, it's five feet long. This is one of the reasons why I always hated these snares is because they were a pain to set. Uh, it wasn't until my 
cousin, uh, Tony, thank you, that uh, got me onto this and, and, and gave me a few tips and pointers. And uh, these are actually now, I can set these twice as fast as I set the other ones. They're just, they're slick as can be. So next thing you're gonna need is just some regular uh, wire, 16 gauge or whatever it is that you use for toggle wire. Just something st um, stiff, okay? I like this green stuff, just got a little plastic coating on it, but you can use whatever you want, of course. Just something that you would normally use to, to tie or toggle off uh, straps or snares or whatever you're doing. Okay, so you just need a little chunk of that. Again, I carry everything in a little tiny, little tiny DeWalt bag right here. It's right full of traps, and, or right full of snares and cutters and stuff. And you can set a pile of snares real quick. So I'm just on the edge of a field. I don't, this, the light sucks right here, but uh, right there is the edge of the field. And right there is uh, a couple of three cow heads that I got from a farmer and some bait. And this is just a little pinch point between a couple cedar trees. So. Now all you're gonna do is take your piece of stiff wire, and again, this isn't really, I mean, it's part of the snare setup, but it's not part of the, uh, it doesn't matter how uh, this is attached as long as it's stuck there, right? So you just wanna twist that around the tree a little bit and give yourself just a little bit of wire sticking out, okay? Easy peasy. Now, pick up your snare and your support collar your support collar can look like this, one of those little twisty ones, okay? Or it can look like, uh, some people put their, their rubber or plastic and they look like a tube. It doesn't matter what, you're just gonna slide your wire that you just attached to the tree. You're gonna secure it next to the snare wire and in that support collar, right? So what that does is it means that now you can control your snare by just adjusting this stiff wire that you just attached to the tree. Okay, so instead of having to try to manipulate this really flimsy five foot long snare, which you don't now have to do because now your support collar keeps everything nice and tight. Okay, so you can get rid of any excess wire or whatever. And again, this would be dyed. This is really bright. Like I would never set this out and leave this uh, because I, would, I didn't dye it first or, or make it a little bit brown or green or whatever. Um, but anyway, that's what you got. So then you adjust your height with your piece of stiff wire here, right? That's in the support collar. So you can adjust your height up, down, whatever. And, and then you can make sure that it's, you know, you're 12 to 14 off the ground or whatever you wanna, whatever you're trying to catch, right? So for me, I'm trying to catch coyotes. And uh, in that case, I would want my snares to be at least 12 inches off the ground, sometimes even a little higher, depending if there's any snow, no snow here right now. So that's great, but. Anyway, look, that's it. Uh, just again, a little pinch point here. There's a tree. You can't really see it in the camera. Uh, there's a tree right there, okay? So I will put a little, just a little stick at an angle right here, just to kind of lead them through this snare, heading down in toward the bait. But, but really guys and girls, that's just about it. Um, real quick and easy how to attach the uh, extension cord or extension cable to the snare. And then the snare just sits in the, in the support collar like this. And, uh, and you're good to go at this point, right? So coyote comes along, hits this. It doesn't matter if it pulls it out of the, I mean, once they're in here, it's gonna probably pull it out. Uh, or actually not probably, it will pull it out of that support collar, but it doesn't matter, right? So they get in here and then this falls and, and they got the kill spring and you got the everything and you're all set, so. Anyway, listen, I hope this is something that helps you out. If you've never actually seen one of these sets sort of in slow motion, step by step, I know people say I talk too much, but uh, I like to explain it in simple terms. And that way, if you already know, great. And if you don't, then you get a real good, real good lesson on it. So again, responsible snaring, right? Set the best snares you can. And um, we'll keep our heritage and, our, and we'll keep our tradition alive as long as we possibly can here. So uh, anyway, listen, I uh, hope this helps you out. And until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.